Okay, this is the 15 minute wood gasifier build challenge. The first step is disassembly. So, pretty much all the hard work has been done for me. I already have a, an inner sleeve and the outer body, which really conveniently just pops into place. Some of my air holes have already been drilled for me. Um, and the only thing left to really build is the base of the, the, the fire pot, if you like. Now, to construct the base um, that will support the fire and the coals, I'm using a, a lid off an old tin cookie jar. And while I'm thinking about it, um, the size holes are drilled on the bottom. Um, I find 10 mil is good. Air holes are drilled. Now let's cut this sucker out. The next step, drill some holes. And base there, I think, not there. Twelve mil. Twelve mil holes. More twelve mil holes. Sixteen mil holes. Just don't drill any in the center there. That'll sort of ruin everything. It would seem that my usual plentiful supply of pop rivets has been depleted. So I'm going to use these little sheet metal screws, which I just dropped on. Well, that wasn't too bad. The last thing that to do is to drill a few more holes in the outer skin. Ta da! How easy was that? For uh, $5, I got three of these white fittings from a, a thrift shop, Salvos. And yeah, wood gasification. Uh, as a rocket stove kind of a guy, I feel like I've kind of gone over to the dark side. But these have their place. They're super light. This is made out of aluminium. Uh, I don't know how that's going to handle long term, like a steel rocket stove will, but super lightweight. Uh, a lot more heat than a rocket stove, only because you're burning all your wood at once. Where what makes a rocket stove. Uh, so efficient, if you like, is you're only burning, you know, that much of a of a stick at any one given time. But anyway, I hope that was helpful and enjoyable. Thanks for watching, guys. Pump the camera. I'll see you later. Bye.